new most amazing top 10 video. I'm so glad you guys clicked on it. I'm Landon. I know you guys want more. So here I am. There's more of me. Let's get right to it. What are we doing today? This is the top 10 insane facts about the solar system. I'm super excited to learn about it. So let's get ready to learn and start off at number 10. Let's take us to the beginning and let's learn how the solar system was formed. Of course, there's many different theories. We have the Big Bang, but today let's talk about the nebular hypothesis. So this is a theory that the solar and stellar systems were developed by a primeval nebula. A primeval nebula is a cloud of gas and dust in outer space. So scientists believe that the solar system was formed when a cloud of gas and dust in the space was disturbed. Maybe by an explosion by a nearby star that's called a supernova. The explosion made waves in space and squeezed the cloud of gas and dust together. And this started to create planets and stars as we know them today. So the biggest star in terms of mass in our solar system is the sun. And let's talk about this in at number 9. The sun accounts for about 99.86% of the total mass of the solar system. The sun is responsible for nearly all of life on earth. So it's no real surprise that it's so big. But have you ever wondered how big this thing is? Well it has a circumference of about 2.7 million miles. You could fit about 1.3 million earths inside the sun. The mass of the sun is so large that there's actually no set number to talk about the size of it. There's actually a formula. So just to figure it out it's about 1.989 times 10 to the power of 30 kilograms. And this number once you put that into a calculator, well you can't you can't put it into a calculator. It's a very very long number. Okay, so let's put this into even more perspective for you guys and let's do it on a visual level. Okay, so let's start off. Here's the Earth's moon. Then we have Mercury and Mars. Next biggest is Venus and then we have Earth. After Earth, things get big very, very fast. We have Neptune, then Saturn, and here's Jupiter, and then boom, you have the sun. The sun is the biggest in our galaxy, but it's actually very, very tiny compared to the other stars or planets that's out there in the galaxy. But we'll get to that very soon. And at number eight, Saturn isn't actually the only planet with rings. And Lord of the Rings isn't the only movie with, with rings. What am I talking about right now? So there's actually four giant gas planets that has rings. And I'm talking about Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Saturn by far does have the largest rings. So there is a misconception that Saturn is the only planet with rings because the other planets, we really can't see them. Well, at least not to the naked eye. Saturn was first discovered by Galileo back in 1610 using his telescopes. He knew something was close to Saturn but never knew what it was. It wasn't until 1655 Christian Hagen who became the first person to suggest that Saturn was surrounded by a ring. The ring around the planet is called a ring system or a planetary ring system. All right, number seven, Jupiter's huge size and gravitational pull acts as a protective barrier that shields the Earth from space debris by pulling objects into its own orbit before they can reach us. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system and it's mainly known for the big red spot on it. This planet plays a very valuable role in humanity and our safety without it, human beings, other animals would be no longer. And it's kind of highly recommended that we never figure out a way on how to live on Jupiter because Jupiter's taken in a lot of these things that can kill us. Okay, so moving into number six, there is an asteroid belt that is located between Mars and Jupiter. This belt contains billions and billions of asteroids. Inside of an asteroid, there's many, many valuable materials. Some of these include gold, iridium, silver, platinum, rhodium, and tungsten, and that's just to name a few. If scientists or astronauts can figure out one day how to collect these materials from the asteroid belt, well, they would become multi-billionaires, if not trillionaires. There was an asteroid that flew by Earth a few years ago and it actually had materials estimated to be worth up to $195 billion. So if Americans somehow figure out a way to get these asteroids safely to Earth, America would finally be out of debt. We wouldn't need to, you know, consider a possibility of Donald Trump taking over the United States of America and become president. Okay, so we're now in at number five. The temperature inside the sun can reach about 15 million degrees Celsius. The sun is known to be about 4.6 billion years old and it's gonna to continue to increase in temperature, luminosity, and its radius steadily for the next 5 billion years. So in 1 billion years, there could be a possibility of no winters. And of course, that's horrible news for animals who rely on winter weather. So the sun is estimated to become a supernova, which means it will explode and then form something else, but that's not going to be in about 5 billion years from now. All right, we're in at number four, and let's talk about seasons on Uranus. Seasons on Uranus last about 20 years. On Earth, seasons are typically three months long. The 
planet with the longest seasons is Neptune. Their seasons last up to 40 years. The quickest seasons is Venus. Every two months is a new season. And Earth comes second for the shortest seasons. Of course, ours is every three months. But again, it depends on where you live. Moving into number three. So one day on Mercury, if you guys ever live on Mercury, it's about 58 days compared to Earth. So if you're ever stuck, well, you're going to be aging pretty slowly, which may not be a bad thing. The amount of days on a planet is determined to how long the planet takes to revolve around this sun. Mercury revolves around the sun in around 88 days. Next is Venus at 224 days. Earth, we all know is about 365.2 days, which is why we have the leap year to make up that point too. The planet that takes the longest to rotate around the sun is Neptune at 60,200 days. And at number two, let's talk about that mystery, you know, thing that we see on Jupiter. It's that like red circle spiral thing. Well, I'll explain exactly what it is. It is a giant spinning storm in Jupiter's atmosphere. It is like a hurricane on Earth, but much, much larger. Winds inside this storm can reach up to 270 miles an hour. The giant red storm was first discovered back in the 17th century. Since tracking this storm, scientists and researchers believe that the red storm has been getting smaller, but it could take thousands, if not millions of years for the storm to be over. Okay, finally, we've made it into number one. We've learned so much. Well, in at number one, for insane facts about the solar system, the hottest planet isn't actually the planet closest to the sun. Let me explain. We all know Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, right? But it's not the hottest. In fact, it's Venus, the next planet closest to the sun. Its atmosphere is primarily composed of carbon dioxide, and this acts like a one-way door. So the solar heat enters, but it cannot leave, thus creating this like oven-type planet. This is why Venus has no water, making it the hottest planet in our solar system. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was a whole lot of fun. I'll see you guys all in the next video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys did in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If not, no worries. Hopefully you'll enjoy the next one. Let me know what top 10 videos you guys would like to see next. If you guys want to continue watching most amazing top 10 videos, because why wouldn't you just look beside me? There's two videos for you to click on. You guys can click one of those. Those are my previous videos. And I'll see you guys all in the next one, which is very, very soon. Okay, bye.